Hello, it's Jen Bengal here from Out of This World Literacy. Have you ever wondered if a student was struggling with reading fluency, but you just didn't know for sure? It can be tough to see all the signs of a fluency struggle, especially when the student is reading silently. Today's topic is awesome because I'm going to give you a cheat sheet to discovering if students are really struggling with fluency while they are reading silently. Yes, reading with fluency does not mean just reading out loud with fluency, but it also means reading inside of your mind with fluency. And this can be really hard to see because because we don't hear them actually reading out loud. Here are 10 things to watch for. If you notice these things happening when your students are reading silently, then it's most likely due to some reading fluency struggles. So as they're reading independently today, watch for these signs. And if you see these things happening, they're probably struggling with reading fluency while they're reading inside their minds. Number one, they may be looking around the room or at other parts of the book. So they could be having their eyes checking out what's going on in the other corner of the room, what you're doing, maybe at a guided reading reading table, who's coming in and out of the room constantly, or they're scanning other parts of the book. They're looking at the back, they're looking at the front. They seem to be just kind of all over the book. These are signs that they're struggling with fluency. Number two, their eyes are moving up and down or back and forth in an unnatural way. So if you notice your student, just take a minute to notice, pay attention to that student who you think might be struggling with fluency here and pay attention to what their eyes are doing. Are their eyes moving in an unnatural way as they're reading? If so, that might be a sign that they're struggling with fluency. Number three, if the reader takes significantly more time to read and process the text than what you had expected, that could be a sign that they're struggling with fluency. So say, for example, you have them reading in a guided reading group silently for 10 minutes and you give them an assigned number of pages to read and the student takes way longer than the time that you expected them to read. That might be a sign of fluency struggling. Number four, the student struggles remembering any language from the text. So after reading, they really can't recall exactly what happened in the text that they read. That's a sign that they're struggling with silent reading fluency. Also, number five, the student struggles to remember any dialogue from the text. So if there's characters talking, that student can't really tell you what they were saying because they were struggling too much with fluency. Number six, if the student or the reader struggles to find evidence in the text to support a conversation after reading, that's a sign that they were struggling with fluency. So again, if you're in a guided reading group or you're doing some partner reading or one-on-one conferencing and the student can't find evidence to support the learning that they had in in the text, that's a sign that they're struggling with fluency. Number seven, if they answer basic comprehension questions incorrectly after reading, like what happened in the story or who was the main character or what did the main character do or think or say, if they can't answer those questions correctly, they're definitely struggling there with some fluency. Number eight, during silent reading, if the student is unable to retain information from the text over several days, that's a sign that they're struggling with fluency because they're spending so much time decoding words, they can't have enough time to understand the meaning of the text. They're struggling with fluency there. They can't remember the text the next day that they read. Number nine, if the student has confusing vocabulary words and their meanings are getting mixed up, that's a sign that they're struggling with fluency. So if they are confusing the words, the tier two words in the story, and they're not making sense, that's a sign of fluency struggle. And the last one, number 10, if the student misses main ideas and has inaccurate details after reading, that's a big sign that they're struggling with fluency. I hope this little cheat sheet of things to notice helps you with assessing the silent reading fluency needs and abilities of your students. Take some time to pay attention to how they're reading silently today and think about these 10 cheat sheets to see if you need to do some extra practice.